Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a mesh top. Crochet needles, number four millimeter, a pair of cutter, the yarn needles, a tape measure, and any yarn color. Today I'm using the gray color, and it's as always, I'm using this brandy Grundel cotton yarn from Germany. It's a four ply cotton, uh, one ball weight 50 grams for 115 meters and it's very soft cotton and ecotech standards which doesn't harm any environment or your skin to begin with leave the end around seven to eight centimeters so we can weave in later and do the slip knot so you have a little loop like this and change up to 92 centimeters to make um, 18 inches long. So you got the length of 18 inches. We are making a top end size more. What we do next is do the double crochet on the eighth stitch so you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do double crochet and change two, leave two stitch, go to the third one and do double crochet. So you will be continuing this to the end of the row and for the rest of the top by changing two, leave two stitches, go to the third one. So you will end up having around 29 of this gap. But make sure you have the right length to fit your body. So before you reach the end of the first row or in every row, you change two and then you go to the third stitch and change up five to begin the new rows. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the work and then do the double crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous row. And then change two. Do the double crochet. So we're doing the mesh stitch. And keep doing this. So I'm done with the back piece by doing the mesh stitches and it's 29 rows on the side, also the 29 mesh gaps on the bottom part. So the measurement, as I said, it's 18 inches by 18 inches. And for the front piece, you just starting the same as the back piece you have done. And the length is also 18 inches, but we only do 16 rows, not 29 rows like the back piece. So once you reach the row 16, put the stitch markers on both sides and then we need to cut off the yarn. So you have this piece and here the stitch markers of both sides and what you do is 
I'd rather turn the work after you uh, finish the previous rule and then you will re um, combine the yarn on the on the fourth mesh mesh um, I mean the fourth double crochet when you're counting this is one two three four so I will rejoin the yarn because we need to decrease the arm hold of the front piece and then just do the mesh stitches by chaining four five because you need three for one stand and then two chains for the top and double crochet to change double crochet to the next the next one the next stand here and keep doing this until you reach the the, the other side and has to be the same side as on the other side so you will end up doing a double crochet on this stitch and then you turn the work backwards and forwards. I have done the five rows of this mesh stitches so now we need to use all these stitch markers. I have used a hair clip instead so what we do we need to in uh, decrease the neckline so what I do I will rejoin the yarn at the fourth stitch one two three four the fourth stitch from the from where you put the stitch markers on because at the end you need to end up with six of these double crochet so I will reconnect the yarn where the fourth double crochet from the stitch markers so that would be the tenth double crochet so I will start with the left hand side and we do three chains because we need to re reduce the, the stitches so do three chains go to the next double crochet and then keep doing the mesh stitches without any increasing. We only increase the neck lie part like this. So I'll do the two chains, one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet until you reach the end of the row and chain five and then come back so for the second row of the necklace, I have, this is the first row when we did three chains and then we come back to the end of the row and then change five do the mesh stitches turn your work and this is to the second row this row I won't increase anything when on the way back and for the third row of the neckline we will change t three and then go to the next one so we change we in decreasing only one every other row not every row the first row when we start to do the neckline, the second row without any decreasing, and the third row we 
decreasing by changing three do the double crochet on the next stitch and change two and keep continue doing this until you reach the end of the row change five and then back without any decreasing and for the next row change three and then to the next double crochet stitch like this so keep doing this for eight rows so I'm done with the neckline decreasing so you can see from this row so we decreasing no decreasing decreasing no decreasing decreasing no decreasing decreasing and the last row is no decreasing so that would be eight rows of the this part here and the total of these front panels would be the same as the back panel and you do exactly the same as on this side so this is from the center where we use the stitch markers and you just do the same as on the other side so you end up having one, two, three, four, five, six of this double crochet mesh and the front panel is finished. Now we need to combine the front piece and the back piece together. So by combining the front panel and the back panel together, you need to mark where you need to combine them together. So what I do, I count, this is the back piece and this is the front. I lay down the back piece and then I count from the, from the bottom of the top upwards to row 16. If you can see, this is row 16 where I put the stitch markers and then top part I count exactly the same as the front panel which is the six this is where the six double crochet and this front panel also the six double crochet so we need to we need to combine these two together so by this is the front piece, I still have the yarn left and what I do, I'm just gonna grab the back piece and I will insert the yarn to so make sure it's on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is this one and I will do the slip stitch so we need to combine this part here by chain 2, I turn the work, I just go through the, the, the one with the double crochet stitch and then chain 2, so this is the stitch on top of the double crochet change two and do this until you reach the last stitch for both sides to change and for the last stitch and this is the inside and this is the outside I cut the yarn and I do exactly the same as on this side. So I'm done the top part by combining the front and the back panel. So I will now do the side. So remember where the, we put the stitch markers on the row 16. You do this for the front and the back piece and then we do the same as 
on this part by chain 2 and then slip stitch, chain 2, slip stitch on every single double crochet. So I'm done with all the joining pieces of the front panel and the back panel. So here is where we combine the pieces and I will turn this inside out. So you have the little vest and now we need to do the we need to do the arm part. I will go you can do the short or the long one but for this video I will do the short arm just for the summer days. So for the sleeves we need to start with the slip stitch. So leave the end for um, weave in later on and chains up to seven, 70 chain. One, two, three, four, five. I have 70 chains in total. And now we need to um, chain seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you do the double crochet on the um, stitch where you chain up to 70. And then start doing the mesh by changing to changing to and then skip to go to the third one so using the same mesh pattern do the so you have done three rows of this mesh stitch um, so I have um, around 24 of these little blocks here, or little gap. I have 24 of them, and this is for three rows. You need to put the stitch markers on this row, both sides, because later on we need to combine. We need to combine these two parts together. So this is the, the sleeve part. Now what we need to do next is just um, change three. This is the row four. So we need to keep uh, decreasing on the side of both sides for 11 more rows. So what we do is change three, go to the next double crochet here. So you will have this triangle shape, other the corner shape, the four, 45 um, degree angle shape or what you call it and you just keep continue doing the two chains one double crochet two chains one double crochet and before the end of row four you have one one um, gap here and the second one will be here so what we do is um, do the two double crochet together like this and then you have the three loops on the needles pull through so this is how you decreasing the shape of this sleeve 
uh, on both sides and for row 5 you just chain 3, turn the work and then do the double crochet on the next mesh stitch chain 2 double crochet chain 2 so keep repeating this until you um, reach the end of the row and do exactly the same as as the previous row which is here so you just do the two double crochet together and keep turning the work until you get the extra total of 11 rows and that would be 14 rows in total including these three mesh um, rows that we did at the beginning so I'm done with the 11 more rows after these three stretch mesh rows and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the last row is row eleven. So you will have the shape of the triangle or the shape of the pyramid, I would say. And then we cut off this end. And now we need to combine the, the sleeves together by fold it in half and here is where to begin it's the end of row it's the end of row three I mean the third gap here and you will insert the needles on the fourth double crochet uh, this front piece and the back one so I will find the little hole here it's just on top of the fourth double crochet grab the yarn tie it and I will get rid of these stitch markers Insert the yarn, change to, and try to find the next, the next uh, loop, the leg hole on the second mesh. Change to front and the back. Change to the front and the back so this is you have one sleeve the, and then I'll cut um, I'll leave I leave the yarn like this first because I need to do the edge um, later so you have this shape of the sleeve turn it inside out so this is the right side and this is the wrong side this is the body part that you've done and it's um, this is the right side and here is inside so you need to turn this body part so the right side is inside and this is the wrong side facing you and the right side is inside so the measurement of this arm hold is from the under armpit to the top of the shoulder is around 10 So as I have this yarn left to do the bottom part of the arm, I will do a nice edge for the bottom. So I won't cut the yarn, so I'll leave it like this. And then you insert the whole, 
the whole um, inside, and you will have the right side of the arm. So this is the bottom of the armpit, and here is the bottom of the armpit as well. So you get the stitch marker and also you get the top part of the arm put it inside of the body and you find the center of this part our center would be would be the stitch and this is where we combine the shoulder to get the stitch markers and now you need to try to balance this part you can use more of the stitch markers here in the middle so you know where you um, work, what to work on and also on this side so try to ease off this um, piece so you get the, the front, you get the body piece and you get the arm piece um, to, to match with the lens and now you need to grab the new yarn This is my yarn to work on. To work, I will work from the the armpit. I don't know if you can tell. So here, where we put all the stitch markers, here is the body part, and here is the armhole, and here is the shoulder part. So I put the right side and the right side facing each other. Now we need to do the combine. I would go for the the stitch where we joining the front panel and the back panel together and through the back where you Fold the armpit, which is this part here, and get the yarn through. I'll tie it, and you need to work along this armhole. So you see on the back, on the arm piece is quite tight, and the front piece, this is the body piece is quite loose so what you do is trying to balance all this and now we need to change to and as we did for the rest of the top just go to the next mesh and both front and back pull the yarn through change to next the next mesh front back next one front back so for this one I will go for the third change front and back change to it's exactly exactly the same as the body part so I have completed this round um, by joining the body part and the arm part together. So what I do, I will turn this top inside out. So you will have the sleeves or the arm of one side. And you do this exactly the same as on the other side. So 
this top is almost completed except the So now we need to do the finishing on the edge like this. So what I do is starting from where I left the long strand of yarn. So we didn't cut it off at the beginning after you finished the, the top. So what you do is just you change two and you do half double crochet two of them in this gap and one on top of the double crochet. So one half double crochet, two half double crochet and another half of double crochet on top of this. So you keep doing this until you reach the last stitch for this arm, for another arm, for the neckline, for the neckline and for the bottom of the top. Okay guys, so now the top is finished. I have completed all these each for the arm part and the rest of the top and also weave in all the ends which you have hidden inside and the top is size small which fits 30 to 34 inches breadth side and it's more like a crop top it's just above your belly button if you need it longer you can just extend the, the rolls of this mesh rolls and also for the arm if you like it uh, for a longer arm um, you can just extend all the rolls so I hope you like the tutorial and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will be appreciated and see you in the next video.